Hi, I'm Shannon Henry, an Applications Engineer here at EMA Design Automation. Today we will be continuing our discussion on part placement. Now that we have reviewed the general guidelines for part placement, there are a few other factors that need to be examined. Mechanical constraints, assembly constraints, electrical performance, and thermal performance all must be taken into consideration when placing parts. Let's first look at the mechanical constraints. The first mechanical aspect to consider is the board level interference. Components should not touch or overlap on the board. This includes the placement courtyards. Components should also be placed a specific distance from mechanical features, such as the board outline, cutouts, and drill holes. Please note that some PCB software allows these distances to be set as mechanical constraints. The second aspect to consider is the assembly interference. Check heights of components to ensure they will fit in the enclosure. Ensure cutouts in the enclosure match up with any necessary connectors or components. Next, let's look at the electrical considerations when placing parts. Keep in mind the footprint of the components. Sometimes a component outline or body size prevents its pins from being closely located to other parts. If a close connection is required, moving the component to the secondary side of the board can resolve the issue. There are also specific layout requirements to consider for digital and analog circuits. First, be sure to keep analog and digital circuit groups separate. Second, for digital layout, consider power distribution first. Place digital components near power and ground planes. Also place bypass and decoupling capacitors close to the device power pins for best performance. Third, if crystal oscillators are needed in the design, be sure to place them close to the devices they are controlling and keep connections as short as possible. Fourth, for analog layout, keep the connections short and consider performance goals throughout your design. Thermal performance should also be considered when placing components. High heat components can cause significant issues in your design. For example, if an LED is overdriven, it can cause the PCB materials to expand. If a via is placed too close, the expansion can pop the via and cause board failure. Avoid placing high heat components together and instead spread them over the board. Make sure these components have suitable airflow. Place them near a fan if possible and avoid blocking airflow with larger components. When placing components, you must also consider the ease of assembly. Ease of assembly is measured in time and materials. Make sure there is enough room between components for wave solderability and other assembly processes. Many manufacturers have their own guidelines to assist in creating a PCB that is easily assembled. You can also reference the IPC standard documents. IPC 2221 is for generic PCB designs. However, for rich designs, you can reference IPC 2222, and for flex designs, reference IPC 2223. Here are some additional tips for PCB part placement. 1. Collaborate with the mechanical engineer. Both the electrical and mechanical aspects can change throughout the design. Open communication with the mechanical engineer will help reduce errors and keep your project on track. 2. Use 3D modeling tools. Some PCB software includes 3D modeling for components and enclosures. These cross-checking tools will help reduce assembly errors. 3. Have your part placement reviewed by the mechanical and assembly engineers before moving on to routing. Checking the part placement early in the design process can save time when routing. 4. For thermal considerations, some PCB software offers thermal simulation. Utilize this software to find and resolve any thermal issues in your PCB. Keep these considerations in mind when placing parts to keep your design on time and on budget. Thanks for joining us today and check out some of our previous Whiteboard Wednesday sessions from the PCB design experts here at EMA Design Automation.